Carlos Alcaraz versus Daniel Medvedev is the final group stage match for these guys at the ATP Finals of 2023. And both are looking to end with a win before the semifinals. Daniel Medvedev comes into the tournament as the number three in the world. And after a terrible campaign last year, losing all three matches, will be looking to do something better at the ATP Finals this year. His best result here is winning the title back in 2020. But as I mentioned, last year went zero and three in the groups. And look to change that and try and replicate what he did in 2020. His win-loss record this year, 64 wins, 16 losses, which is amongst one of the best, but he has been split when he does make it to finals of tournaments, winning five titles from the nine finals that he's played, with his biggest final, of course, being at that US Open. His best win, beating Djokovic earlier in the season in Dubai after Djokovic had just won the Australian Open, and his worst loss came in the first round of the French Open, losing to the qualifier Vilch after having one of his best clay court season preparations for that French Open yet. His form, however, hasn't been good with a couple of losses over the last couple of weeks, but he did make the final of Vienna, so he does have a little bit of form. Carlos Alcaraz comes into the ATP Finals as the number two in the world and will actually make his debut at the Finals, even though last year he did qualify, of course, having to pull out, though, with injury. So first time we'll see him here. His record this year, 63 wins, 10 losses, and his titles and Finals, six titles from the eight Finals, the only two losses he's had in Finals, of course, to Djokovic in Cincinnati, and actually to Nori at the start of the year in Rio de Janeiro. His best win, Djokovic at Wimbledon, of course, one of the biggest achievements of his career. And his worst loss came in Rome against the qualifier from Hungary, Marijan, and it was just after Madrid where Alcaraz had actually won the title, so it was a big shock. His form, however, hasn't been good coming into this finals with a couple of losses after a long injury delay and not playing a lot of tournaments after the US Open. These guys have played four times before with the head-to-head -head split down the middle, 2-2, with Medvedev winning their previous match at the US Open in a close four setter, but Alcaraz did win at both Wimbledon and Indian Wells, so the fourth time this year they're playing, Alcaraz having the 2-1 lead. If Medvedev's going to win this one, he needs to serve well. He served really well against Verev, and of course he played really well against Rublev in that first match. He needs to serve well against Alcaraz, and try and make those passing shots that he did so well against Sasha Zverev. If Alcaraz is going to win this one, he needs to serve like he did against Rublev, but also come into the net and use that variety that he knows he can use against Medvedev to win. Because we saw a little bit with Zverev, he used the variety, and it actually worked a little bit against Medvedev in the first set. And we know Alcaraz is so much better than Zverev at the net. So if he can get to the net and did those drop shots, he might get the win. Such a massive matchup to finish the group stage. Two versus three. Medvedev's already in the semifinals. Alcaraz trying to get there. I reckon Medvedev's going to win, though, in three sets. I think the fast courts are a little bit better for Medvedev. And I think his serve might be a little more aggressive, kind of like what Zverev did in that first match against Alcaraz. But let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this one.